Scorpions are shy creatures. They are active at night during the hot season, but they often live in houses or near inhabited areas. That's why sometimes scorpion stings to humans. Scorpion stings are seen all over the world, but more common in South America, Middle East, Sub-Saharan Africa, and Indian subcontinent. In most cases, the sting of a scorpion causes pain, but is relatively harmless to a healthy adult. It is more dangerous for children. Rarely scorpion stings can produce life-threatening situations. Two species of scorpions are deadly dangerous for humans, Palestinian death stalker, and the Brazilian yellow scorpion. Thanks God, antivenom exists for both species stings, signs and symptoms. Most scorpion stings cause a local inflammatory reaction, skin redness, swelling and pain. Scorpion injects venom to its victim. Venom contains neurotoxins, and most symptoms are because of this neurotoxins. Neurotoxin can cause prolonged depolarization by causing incomplete inactivation of sodium channels, resulting in a slow influx of sodium. This influx then leads to membrane hyperexcitability, eventually causes neurotransmitter release. Envenomations can produce both cholinergic as well as sympathetic stimulation. Typical cholinergic symptoms, diaphoresis, sweating, lacrimation, vomiting, diarrhea, and bradycardia. Typical sympathetic symptoms include hypertension, tachycardia, fast heart rate, and restlessness. Symptoms occur within minutes. Life-threatening symptoms occurs much quicker in children, with an average of 14 minutes. In patients displaying severe symptoms such as hypersalivation, clonus, muscle cramps, rapid eye movements, or restlessness, immediate intervention is critical. These patients may need endotracheal intubation due to the possibility of bronchospasm and severe pulmonary edema. Treatment. Most stings only require supportive therapy, including ibuprofen, cleaning of the sting area, and tetanus prophylaxis. If symptoms are generalized, for example, tachycardia, arrhythmia, dyspnea, priapism, hypersecretory syndrome, such as salivation, sweating, bronchorrhea, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, urination, then more complex treatment is needed. Antivenom is required. Prozessin to control cardiovascular symptoms and relax blood vessels. Midazolam for muscle relaxation, anticonvulsant effect, and sedation. In severe cases, mechanical ventilation is required.